The New York City Police Department is declaring a mental health emergency after several of its officers died by suicide. Well, RT's Trini Chavez reports from New York. The NYPD is facing a mental health emergency after losing its ninth officer to suicide so far this year. Now the department is struggling with how to cope with this crisis. A string of suicides shaking the New York Police Department. The death of NYPD officer Robert Echevarria came just one day after another officer, Johnny Rios, killed himself. Five more officers also killed themselves in the last 10 weeks, bringing the total number of officer suicides so far this year to nine, when previous years had an average number of four or five. There's so many hotlines. The issue is, is these people aren't calling those numbers. You always hear that they're the light in the room, the light of the life of the party. Um, there's never any signs, and we have to get to the bottom of it. New York Police Commissioner James O'Neill calling it a mental health crisis and said that law enforcement as a whole must take action. The head of the NYPD union taking to Twitter in a video post. If you're on the edge and contemplating suicide, don't do it. Come on. It solves nothing and leaves devastation behind you. Just don't do it. Meanwhile, some believe that the current crisis on the force is being driven by a mix of problems. Cop morale is especially low right now, with officers under harsh scrutiny over incidents like the 2014 death of Eric Garner, who died when Officer Daniel Pantaleo restrained him in a prohibited chokehold. Officers have a very difficult job to do. When you go out there, you play politics, you confuse officers on when they can and cannot do their job. Uh, it's a recipe for disaster. The surge in suicides in the nation's largest police force now driving a discussion about the psychological toll of police work, a profession in which discussing mental health was long seen as taboo. There definitely is a stigma still in our country today in the mental health field. So people who are asking for support through psychology, psychiatry, are still afraid that they're going to be seen as if there's something wrong with them. Provide mental health benefits that will cover the high quality professional treatment we need and accommodate us when we're in crisis. Stop destroying the careers of cops who reach out for help. End the demonization and anti cop rhetoric. Reduce the bureaucratic torment of the job rather than adding to it all the time. According to Blue Help, a nonprofit run by active and retired police officers, 124 officers have died by suicide in 2019. Meanwhile, a white paper study found that police officers and firefighters were more likely to die by suicide than in the line of duty. So if we could change the stigma around mental health, we can actually get more first responders to get the kind of support that they so badly need. Now to help combat the mental health crisis, the NYPD is working on developing comprehensive health and wellness initiatives, as well as expanding health coverage for its employees to make sure that they get the proper mental health treatment when needed. Reporting in New York, Trinity Chavez, RT. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.